and these are mammoth elephant ears. This is the first time we're growing them. I just found like out that the one. elephant no, ears that are small. Small waterproof. So look, um, I sprayed it like 60 million times. That's why there's a little bit of water drop left. But look, it's dry, right? And then that happens. And then if you shake off the excess. Go by there. Look. Let me see how big those leaves are so far. If they can see. It's like super dry. Like I could put it on my, and it's not even wet. Another example, look at that one. Okay, go up close. Look at that one. It's literally dry, okay? And then it's dry. It's waterproof. And also look at our elephant ears. They went from, okay, so actually, you see this elephant ear right here? That's kind of what they used to look like. And now they look like this. They look like, um, look at this one. It looks dead. It's like all curled up and stuff. And same with this one. These, this, this is our mammoth elephant ears. The crinkled elephant ears that I was showing you earlier in like probably a couple clips before but we're also going to cut them and use the bulbs and I have no idea where my dad went oh found him he's got a shovel this time because there is no bucket underneath like the other one just to actually manually dig it up there goes the sugar cane it looks really fun. Curious to see. We planted one bulb in here. I want to see. It looks like it multiplied a couple of times, but kind of. Just that's that just one good. bulb. The step stool and dig. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Don't fall. Uh, this is very dangerous, guys. That. Um, one like equals one prayer. <laughs> okay. Don't fall now. Don't try this at home. Yeah. Do not try this at home. Uh, oh. It's for entertainment purposes only, oh. I guess. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Wait, I'm going to go on to the other, other side. He needs a new shovel, he said. I'm up here. Oh, wow. Um, well. Don't fall. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Alright, we got it out. Uh, there it is. It's out. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Um, interesting, I guess. Science. I don't know what you call this. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, there's the bulb, I think. So let's move to the other side where the knife is. I'm choking. That looks very dangerous, guys. He's going to hose it. So we can see. Oh, oh. 
Oh. <laughs> oh my god. He almost fell. Do not try this at home for the millionth time. You're gonna fall and break your back, and then you have to go through the hospital room, and then you All have right. to. Let's see what it looks like. Don't try this at home. There's a good way to find out what's underneath there. and it looked like it had a lot of babies, which is nice. I'm gonna clean this up, get off the roots and everything. But look, we got some other ones here. So we're gonna have some several mammoth ones for next year. So we can certainly dry this similar to what we did with the other ones. But I'm gonna clean this up and it's gonna be the same thing. All right, so we'll clean it up and we'll show you what we got at the end. That's how that looks like. That's another one. These are mammoths. And look what broke off. This is the main one that we, we planted. This is the mother one. And there are several babies. Let's cut off this roots. We're gonna cut as much of the roots as we can. Looks like this one, this is now the main mother one. Oh, you can this see that piece one. right there and that piece right there. That's where it was like this and then it grew and then a whole bunch of little ones grew from here and that's what those are look we've got so much and eventually this will get big as this so we planted one we got all of these planted one and we got really this is gonna dry up probably up to here so we're gonna just cut it as close as we can there your knife is very dirty. Yeah. And those are going to shrivel up when we dry them. These kind of remind me like celery mixed with sugar cane mixed with uh, bamboo. And here's the big one. You see this? It's probably here. Yeah. Humongous. Wow. So again, we're going to dry these. Some of the here. bucket. So these are mammoth elephant ears. So this is the all that we have gathered. And we'll see what our mammoth elephant ears will look like next year when we plant these again. So it's November 29th and this is what our mammoth elephant ears look like. They've been drying for several weeks inside, but today is kind of nice out, so we're going to clean the bulbs and do an update. So this one is the one that we cut, and it's healing there. And this one and this one are the ones that we originally had, but this one we had to cut off because it was molding. So hopefully we can save this. So this is another one of the cut ones. Today we're going to clean up all the dried roots and continue drying them for winter. And from just these two bulbs, we got a lot that I think will grow bigger next year. So here I'm going to clean off all the dried root roots and clean off all the excess dirt. So these ones are all the other baby ones that are going to have small growth, but we'll leave them alone for now. And this is what it looks like all cleaned up. So guys, as you can see, I cleaned it all of the dead roots and everything off with the brush. So now we're going to store them inside for the winter and then plant them back out in the spring. It is December 6th right now, uh, in the middle of winter, but this is how those uh, mammoth elephant ears are looking. See, this is one of the uh, 
the original one, the big one. And the other one um, somehow rotted, so I'm trying to save it. I cut it and see how it does. But uh, as you can see, we've gotten a lot out of it. And um, we cleaned this up and we've been drying it it's, uh, inside the house right now, room temperature. So I'm gonna put him in the garage for the winter so that it will stay dormant throughout and we can replant those again in the spring. But that's how it's looking.